Now, I was told by my boss that I had to put these three words into this very brief toast. And the three words are back, crack, and sack. What is that? <laughs> that is one of the pieces Christopher's known for that he wrote for Vanity Fair. As you know, he was um, a man of great integrity. He was a great muckraker, he, or muckraker. He was a great investigative reporter. He was a great war correspondent. He was a great humorist. He was a great polemicist. He was, a, he was great at writing literary criticism. Um, and then he could also write pieces like um, the piece on self-improvement. And Graydon said, I couldn't mention and I couldn't not mention that. Anyway, if it were not for Graydon deciding that Hitch was the bee's knees when he first took over Vanity Fair, I would not be here and we would not all be celebrating tonight. He saw his, he saw his worth and I saw the two of them together and they were made for each other. Um, they had the many similar sensibilities many similar loves of literature, lots of the same kind of senses of humor. And the back crack. And the back crack and, and the, the sack. The That's what really crack. bound them together more than anything. Um, so anyway, as Christopher used to say, isn't it wonderful to be us? And isn't it wonderful that we all kind of knew each other and found out that we did and we're all together here tonight? Yes. Because I simply yes. want to say, having been not at all terse and not at all particularly elucidating, that Alex Gibney is somebody I knew before I met Christopher, and that the very first night that I met Christopher, I picked him up at the airport and I drove him to an office I was sharing with Alex, and we went on to Musso and Frank's bar, where Alex joined us for the very first drink I ever had with Christopher, and the three of us had a gin martini, and Christopher explained to us, as he had to the bartender when he took our order, that the way to make a gin martini was to put the, as Louis Bunuel instructs, put the <laughs> vermouth bottle next to the martini glass of gin and let the sun shine through the bottle. <laughs> and that, that was a great meeting. And from there came the attempt to take down Kissinger, which hasn't yet succeeded, but we're still trying. Anyway, over to you. And thank you so much, Dennis Ross, because if... Victoria? And Victoria, seriously, Hitch has many fans, but not as many who deliver in the way that you have. So thank you so, so much. Bravo. Mm -hmm.